all right good day today you'll be considering how to um, use Aspen Hysis to calculate your dew point and your bubble point temperature respectively now it's it's imperative that you understand what dew point temperature is all about it will also help you to know how to use Aspen Hysis to run your calculation now dew point temperature is the temperature at which we see the first drop of liquid when changing the phase of a liquid from vapor to liquid now this is what it means it means that that particular fluid was originally at what vapor phase so if you're calculating for your dew point temperature you have it at the back of your mind that your fluid was originally a vapor and you were trying to change it to liquid that point that temperature at which you get the first drop of liquid becomes your dew point temperature now bubble point temperature is the temperature at which you see the first bubble okay when changing the phase of a fluid from liquid to vapor that, especially when you're when you're boiling that particular temperature at which you see the first bubble is your bubble point temperature meaning that that fluid was originally existing as a liquid now having this at the back of your mind let's go straight to our design that you know you see how we're going to put it to practice we are still working on our tutorial simulation case so i'm going to be opening the tutorial simulation case okay all right we're there now okay i guess you already understand what we mean by bubble points and dew point temperatures now we also have bubble point um pressure and dew point pressure it's the same thing okay it's the same thing the same way of calculating it so we're going to be using our stream one to calculate or i'll be using our stream one to show you how you can calculate for your dew point and your bubble point okay so let's open our stream double click on the stream that will take us to the conditions where we can define our um, parameters okay so i'm going to be deleting this the temperature and the pressure now i want us to calculate the bubble point temperature of this particular stream at a pressure of one kilopascal i said we'll be calculating the bubble point temperature at a pressure of one kilo um one atmosphere one atmosphere sorry now since it's bubble point, I said bubble point is the temperature at which we would experience our first bubble. That means that this fluid was originally in the liquid phase. Okay? So, if it's originally in liquid phase, that means calculating your bubble point temperature, your vapor phase fraction has to be zero. Because if you're defining your fluid to be, to be liquid, the vapor phase fraction has to be zero. If it is vapor, it has to be one so since we are dealing with bubble point temperature our uh, vapor phase fraction has to be zero because we are actually transiting it um, from uh, transiting from the phase from the liquid phase to the vapor phase okay so they said at what temperature one atmosphere one atmosphere okay so our bubble point temperature is minus 159.3 that means once you start boiling once you start boiling this particular fluid or heating it up you will see your first bubble at minus 159.3 degrees celsius so this is simply how to calculate your bubble point temperature now to calculate for your bubble point pressure for example if i ask you to calculate for your bubble point pressure at a temperature of 10 degrees celsius 10 degrees celsius so at 1.605 exponential 4 at the pressure of this particular figure you'll be getting your first bubble so that's all about bubble point temperature and bubble point pressure so let's go back to dew point how do you calculate your dew point like i said dew point has to do with the temperature at which you experience your first dew so you're trying to condense a vapor you're trying to bring it down to liquid phase 
okay so that temperature at which you see the first droplet of liquid is your dew point temperature now that means the fluid was originally what vapor phase so the vapor phase fraction has to be one now i want us to calculate the dew point um temperature of this particular fluid at a pressure of one atmosphere okay one atmosphere so you experience your force due at minus 2.149 remember our bubble point temperature is minus 159.9 and our dew point is minus 2.149 are we together so this is where you will experience your first droplets of liquid are we together okay so to calculate for your dew point pressure all you need to do you must have your temperature so to calculate for the dew point pressure of this particular stream at a temperature of 10 degrees celsius that's 241.7 so at the temperature um as a, at the temperature of 10 degrees celsius okay and um the pressure of 241.7 you're going to experience your first droplet of what of liquid so that's exactly how to calculate your dew point and your bubble point temperature it's as easy as that so in our next class i'll be showing us how to run stream analysis but before i end this class i also like to show you how to check for the water content of your stream especially your gas stream it's very important you need to know the water content of your gas stream to avoid um to avoid um rust within the pipeline and hydrate formation and all of that so you need to know the water content and design a process to remove some some um water from your from your fluid so as to be able to transport your gas without causing harm to your uh, medium of transportation so how do we do that you go to properties when you go to properties you have to scroll down okay there's no water content so look at this you have append new correlation so you click on append new correlation look for gas scroll down and um, you see water content click on apply so you can check for the water dew points you can also add the water dew points if you want to check out for it okay so close come back so your water content is 4019 which is very very high very very high it's very high so you need to design your process to reduce it to about five milligram per newton meter uh, what's called newton meter cube all right so that's all about knowing um how to get your, the water content of your gas and also how to calculate your dew point temperature and um, your bubble point temperature i guess this class has been helpful so in our next class like i said i'll teach you how to run analysis on your stream by analysis you have to check your envelope utility check out for um dew point i was called we have to check out for the critical point temperature critical point pressures um and all other factors we we have to also check for hydrate formation temperature and pressure using the stream analysis that will be in our next class thank you very much for your time see you in our next class